Okay, once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, your boy, the man, NJ Tennis City, with the number two and T.O. This is the first time I've done this in Lord knows how many months, because I think the last time I did this was definitely um, shooting a video about um, mock drafts and stuff like that for the NFL, you know. Um, those videos have not been posted yet, but those are videos of me standing up doing my analysis of many, many aspects of the NFL draft. So this, uh, this I would say not the talk entertainment because I'm trying to really, really rehash that out into the point of view, you know, which is named after my uh, POV point of view song and album. The album and the uh, the song you can catch right here on this YouTube channel. Just gotta scroll further down in the in the um, timeline. The album you have to go on my NJ number two, the city rapper YouTube channel, which I may change the name to something else like B and E T V because you know Brotherhood Nation Entertainment is supposed to be rehashed out. This is like I'm, I'm I really am supposed to rehash this out, and it's something else, which is B and E T V. I don't I do not know yet whether I'm just gonna change the name to B and E T V on this channel or whether I'm gonna change it on NJ to the City Rapper or whether I'm gonna create a whole new one, I don't fully know yet, but we will figure that out eventually. Um, but once again, ladies and gentlemen, um, here's a quick thing. First week numbers for even though it's not on iTunes, first week numbers for um for the um album is um seventy four views first week. Now I don't know whether it's because of you know, uh, the title of the album, whether it's because of the some of the song covers that I put, or because of some of my flows, some of my, my beats, you know, I don't fully know. But I can definitely tell you, thank you for everybody that has definitely supported it, liked it, listened to it, shared it with your friends, family, neighbors. Thank you very much, because indefinitely, there was many points, and there was many viewpoints within the album, the viewpoints that definitely, like, it was definitely, when I think about the viewpoints, I think about, you know, consciousness. So that answers my uh, dear friend Annie's question about, you know, what was my, I guess, you know, ideology, duality, you know, whatever, whichever word you want to use on um, when I came up with the title of the viewpoints. I was not fully, I was not thinking of Drake, really, of his album Views from last year that went three times platinum. So remember that, Drake's Views went three times platinum. But no, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about um, just consciousness. I was thinking about just simple as that, you know, telling a story, you know, and that's pretty much what I do believe I did on majority of the album, if not the entire thing, I definitely told a story. And definitely, um, songs like Sympathy, To Be Close to People Part 2, uh, Time on the Clock, you know, there's many songs on there that definitely, you know, are telling a story and letting people, you know, know a little something, something about my views on this, my views on that, you know, and definitely you're spreading awareness. Time on the Clock is definitely about spreading awareness because there's so many people, I'm telling you, who do not have their souls right with Christ, you know, but still, you know, Go about their daily lives thinking that they're spiritually saved and aware. You know, you know, God is my judge and my witness for even judging them, you know, on that, you know, on that ideology. But I'm just saying there's a lot of people out there, for at least from, you know, my viewpoints of what I've witnessed over, you know, definitely over at least the last two, three years of my life on this earth. A lot of people who are not truly are not truly spiritually saved and aware, but they think they are, but they're not. Or at least because again, we in the way I say the reason why I say that because I study the I study them on the way they talk and they act. Because just like my real brother Andy uh, Andy Menio said on his um, album, I don't know it was it was either formally no. By the way, you can look up Andy Menio. By the way, and Andy Menio. Obviously, obviously you probably know how to spell Andy, so I'm gonna say Menio. M I N E O. Shout out God bless Andy Menio and everybody over there at Reach Records. So shout out God bless Lecrae. Flame, even though Flame's over there in Clear Sight Music, but still shout out God bless uh, the entire Reach Records family, and shout out God bless as well Clear Sight Music. Um, but as well, Andy Menio said on one of his previous albums, he said, um, "You know, like you know, you act different when you know you've been forgiven, you know, or, or when you know you've been saved." But I'm pretty sure it was, it was you act a certain way when you know you've been forgiven, you know, stuff like that. And that's pretty much what I mean about time on the clock, you know, to a certain degree. Is that, you know, there's so many people who, you know, who, you know, they talk, they, they talk the, they, 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 they talk the, the churchy talk, they talk the, the religion, the morals talk from time to time. But you can tell by the way they act and they talk, you know, other times or really most of the time, 
You know, like, it's like they only do it on occasion when it comes to talking to the churchy stuff, talking to the religious stuff and the moral stuff. I carry, you know, again, my personal views because I've been preaching my views on religion pretty much every single song that I, I've been making for years, you know, years now. You know, pretty much, every, pretty much every song I have, I'm saying God first, God first, pretty much, pretty much almost every line. You know, I'm saying once it's in the I've used once it's in the so much. No offense to Lecrae and Andy Mino, but I probably used it more than they have in any song they've ever made as well. Because I've just used once it's in the so many times. You know, but and definitely God is my judge and my witness that I'm definitely saying that, you know, here um, on the fact being that, um, since I can get my train of thought back. The point is, like I say, I like I carry my faith on my sleeve. Like I legitimately, I'm out there with my faith every single day. My, you know, my personality every single day. Like uh, this is not something. My personality and my, like, you know, my my personality or my views on faith is not something you just see on a Sunday or whatever else day. My my views on faith, faith, sorry, faith is not something you see. Especially people, a lot of people that go to school with me. By the way, shout out God bless Nice High School, NHS, Alan Denise. You know what's up? It's all of them hundred. On this side, we're all family over there. You know what's up? Proud ambassador, NJ to the city. But as I was saying, uh, my views on faith and religion and morals. Most people who are around me, and definitely you check my Twitter feed at NJ Number Two the City, you'll see that I pretty much preach it legitimately every tweet. If not every tweet, I, you know, like seven out of ten every tweet I'm preaching preaching something about about religion or morals. I'm saying God first, once in the same pretty much almost every tweet. Like, legitimately, that's just how it is. I really do carry my faith in many ways on my sleeve and whatever else, so forth and so forth. But I'm saying there's many people who I'm telling you, they don't, they, 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 they don't talk like, they don't talk and they don't act like they are spiritually saved in the world, but yet they definitely will claim it in a, heart, in a heartbeat. But they, they, but they don't act like it. They don't act like it. They don't talk like it, you know. And that's just my, my, my biggest point. Time on the clock, ladies and gentlemen, was pretty much me saying... I hope that as many lost souls as we have in this world, in this country, I pray that they get their souls. They truly do become spiritually saved in the world while time is still on the clock to do so. Because it's going because I, I'm telling you, I would hate, hate for it to, I would hate for them to die tomorrow. They go to judge, you know, their judgment day and they fail the test and then burn in, burn in, the, in the lake of fire for God knows how long, you know. And that's just how that, that goes. That's why I'm saying time on the clock is definitely a spiritual message telling people I hope you get your I hope you really do become spiritually you know truly spiritually saved in the world while time is on the clock. You know? So you can truly start living your life in the real fruitful and prosperous way that we all know 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 that you can. So forth and so forth. But um because I got multiple takes and multiple views to get into with this. Um this is the this this is me doing my own, you know, personal interview, you know, um on the entire, you know, ideology and duality of the viewpoints and probably even some some NFL football because the draft was just this past weekend. So, by the way, shout out God bless real brother Nathan Peterman. Shout out God bless you, real brother. You got drafted to Buffalo. On behalf of everybody at Barton Trail, even though I don't go to Barton Trail, never have, and never even seen the school in person, still, shout out God bless everybody at Barton Trail High School. And they are, on behalf of everybody there, I'm pretty sure they would tell you this, if they haven't already, they wish you the absolute best, and you probably mean just as much, you know, to them as Tebow does to us, uh, you know, over here at Nice. So once again, once once again, unashamed of that. God bless you and everything, and we hope that you have a great and prosperous and successful career over there um, in Buffalo. And shout out, God bless my real brother as well, Chad Kelly, who I'm very, 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 very proud of getting drafted to the. Uh, Denver Broncos. So thank you, Denver Broncos, for picking him up. Because like I tweeted out, you know, y'all don't have to y'all don't have to say that that was God's plan. But I'm definitely giving God the credit on that one. That was God's plan for him to become Mister Irrelevant. I look at that. That was God's plan for him to become Mister Irrelevant. That was just awesome and amazing. So all glory be to God on that. That was awesome and amazing for him. I'm very happy for Chad Kelly. And I look forward to seeing everything that he accomplishes over there in in Denver. But as well, God bless Paxton Lynch and Trevor Simeon. But like I say, um, you know, God bless Barton Trail High School. God bless, uh, uh, you know, everybody there. Shout out, God bless, um, as well. Um, yeah, uh, Nathan Peterman and so forth and so forth. Um, like I said, I got more draft stuff to get into. So trust me, more and more draft stuff to get into. So I'm not done with it yet, whatsoever by any means. But um, let's also, like I say, let's get back to the viewpoints. Let me pull this, pull the album up on my phone right quick. 
Okay, so the uh, viewpoints, ladies and gentlemen, the viewpoints. Um, trying. Um, my one of my biggest uh, viewpoints with trying was the fact being that um, it was like I say, me letting people know potentially like how again I love and care about people, period, and how much I would die for legitimately so many people. And the reason why I say I would die for this person, I would die for that person because I love and I care about them, and I. You know, and as well because of, um, like I say, for me, that's just real. Saying, you know, I would die for this person, I would die for that person. Because it's me showing, you know, for me, it's a part of me showing my selflessness. You know, because, you know, in many ways, I'm fearless. In many ways, I'm fearless. I'm also going to make a song called Fearless because in many ways, I am fearless. You know, not, you know, I, uh, you know I'm not 100% fearless, you know, but in many ways, I am fearless and, um, so forth and so forth. So that is pretty much what I'm doing with songs like Trying. I'm saying I'm going to die trying, die trying, I'm going to die trying to be positively helpful. Because like I said, I'm an overall good personality and good guy. And that's one of the reasons why, like I say, if you see me tweet on Twitter at NJ Number Two the City, you see me all the time saying all this great stuff because that's just, that is who I am as a human being. And I am blessed for this personality. I'm blessed with this attitude. I'm blessed with these respects, these morals, the, you know, these honors and everything. I'm blessed for it all. Like I, I'm, I'm just blessed for it all. And one of the biggest things I continuously, one reason why I continuously do music, ladies and gentlemen, is to continuously preach more and more and more about my life story, other people's life story, other people's, you know, trials and tribulations and whatever else, you know, and just continuously, you know, like I say, my, my legacy is definitely, you know, the, you know, it's not only in the way I act and talk, but it's definitely in my music. And that's one of the reasons why I keep on releasing the music that I release because like I tweeted out a while ago, build your legacy in the music for all the musicians out there. You know, I'm a again I I again, you know, I probably you know, I probably represent young you know, young life because you know I am young as well, ladies and, and gentlemen. For everybody who doesn't know my age, my age is uh, eighteen. You know? And for me the reason why that's so so significant is because of uh, Lil Yachty who's nineteen years old and the new crop of of um and the new crop of, uh, how do I put it, the new crop of uh, young rappers and young singers. There's so much young talent out there. Lord knows I want to help put you all on. I want us all to learn, grow, build, and prosper together. So as well, once again, shout out God bless all my middle school younglings, you know, who, you know, are 13, 12, 14, 15, whatever age, who as well are very, very super talented. You know, like I say, you know, you all will have successful career and future in whatever you want. God first, Jesus above all, once again, the shame, you know what's up with that. So I'm going to definitely do a second and third video on this, um, the viewpoints and on, uh, on the NFL Draft 2017, cause, because right now this uh, video has gone to 12 minutes, and I don't know whether I have to cut this thing up just to get it on YouTube or not. But um, yeah, and it, definitely this, go, this video will be titled, um, I guess, the, the Viewpoints Explanatory Part 1, I guess, yeah. Um, there's, there is, but there is still supposed to be a song titled, titled, titled "The Viewpoints," and I'm not supposed to be rapping on that. Honestly, it's supposed to be just a, a few of my uh, singer friends that I have signed to, you know, signed, signed to me indefinitely. And um, hopefully, we get those, the, um, those songs out. And like I say, I got a lot more news to share with everybody out there. And just know this thing is going, you know, this thing is going to get bigger and bigger as you know, as the years, the years go by. I just pray, you know, everybody who's really with the movement continuously show your love and support. And just know everybody who's not with the movement, just, you know, be on the lookout for every, you know, for everything we do and all the great things we're going to do to help positively influence this culture and help influence the world and the country and everything else like that to make a better tomorrow for all. Jesus above all. So I love 100 on the side. That's why we always in favor down to Jesus above all. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus above all. Right. If you didn't hear me say that, it was a rap right quick. It was, once again, it was, um, it's all love and 100 on this side. That's why we always in favor down to Jesus above all right. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, once again. Because, again, that's going to be in a song called This Side that I have not produced yet. But, yeah, that's going to be in a song called This Side. But thank you all for listening, watching, viewing, subscribing thus far. It's me, your boy, the man, NJ to the city with the number two, and T.O. Uh, coming, you know, coming to you, um, you know, for an explanatory of the Viewpoints album and the 2017 NFL Draft. Thank you all for viewing, listening, watching, subscribing. Very thankful, very blessed and gifted for all your love, support, encouragement, and even some of your, your hate and doubt and criticism. Again, I use it all as fuel to continuously become a better artist and a better person. So let's once again band together, continuously, you know, build this better tomorrow, you know, for, for everyone and for all. Jesus above all. We're spiritually saving the words, what it means to ball.
Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Golden State Warriors, shot call. You know what's up. Peace. God bless.